Okay, this is box 17, row 1, and we already got a first find of the hunt. So I'm going to zoom in so I can read the date. We have a 1937 wheat scent. Some junk on the front, but there it is on the back. A little bit of junk on the back side, but it's still a nice find. So I'll bring y'all back in for the next one. We're on row 5 of box 17, and we found our second wheat penny of the hunt. 1952 Denver. Trying to get the focus. Sorry, but second last row. It's almost. It was almost an ender. I keep bring y'all in for the next one. Okay, I'm on row six. I removed this one. And then I saw that we have ourselves our third week center of the hunt. Decent condition on the reverse. We got copper in the background. Come on, focus. 1957, Denver. Bring y'all back in on the next find. Still in row six, and we have our first foreign coin. It's a Canadian. And I did take a quick look so I could get the date. It is a 1983. Let me just confirm it. Yep, this is a 1983 Canadian. Bring y'all back in for the next find. We're still on row six. I just put down the phone from video Canadian sent. We got a, uh, another weedy. And it's a 44 Denver, a 44 Philly. So we got two in one row. This is makes the third box in a row where I have two witties in one row. Still row six, and I came across the first, a third weedy of the row. So I'm gonna just. So what year this one is? Nineteen fifty-two. Zoom in. Looks like it says Denver. I want to verify that with the scope. No, oh, fifty-eight Denver. I'm sorry. So that's our third one of this row. We're up to five. Bring you back in on the next one. Row nine. We've got a week. Sent number six is a 1955 Philly. There's the reverse. Bring you back in on the next find. Roll 18 of the hunt. We got a seventh week penny. And so a date we got. Focus. There's a 42 Philly. Bring y'all back in on the next one. We just got our second Canadian cent out of this box. Let me flip it over so we get a date. 1980. Bring y'all in for the next one. Road 21, we have our eighth wheat cent. Unfortunately, this is how it came out. It's a 1940 Philly. Let's see what, let's see what it's like on the reverse side. Decent, yeah, a few lines you can see. But I'll bring y'all back in on the next one. Somehow I miss this ender. We have a 1944. I want to say it's Philly. Zoom in and see what we got. It's a Denver. So we got a ninth we sent of the board for this hunt. Bring y'all back in for the next find. Roll 32, we have our 10th we sent of the hunt. Let's see what it is. It's 1953 Denver. Bring y'all back in on the next find. Roll 35, and look what I see behind here. Almost an ender. We have another wheat scent. And uh, that's what year it is. Let's zoom in for the date. 56 Timber. Bring y'all back in on the next find. Okay, it's weighing out the rows of pennies, and this popped up. We got another weedy. This is uh, row 39, the 13th wheat cent of the box. We zoom in, and we got ourselves a uh, 58 Denver, looks like. Bring y'all back in for the next find. Okay, I'm on row. Supposedly 42, but I'm looking at my box. 
I have nine more rows left. I don't know what's going on. But we do have another wheat scent. Number 14 of the box. We hit 15 and we tied the most I've ever found in the box. Yet more, we will break that record. 41 Philly. Sorry for zooming in, but that's the only way I can see it. Bring y'all back in for the next find. Okay, y'all. <laughs> I only went through two more coins, and this was behind another one. Another Weedy, 1958 Denver. And I kind of looked at it underneath the scope. And I think I may have an RPM. I'll look at it later and find out for sure. Bring y'all back in on the next one. Same row. Okay, we sent number three of this row. Gives me number 16 for the hunt. Pretty chewed up. It's a 44 Philly. It's got a nice old dent up there, but it counts as a wheat scent. Bring you back in for the next one. On the second last row, and I come across wheat scent number 17 of the hunt. And it's a 1950D. Bring you back in on the next find. 